Hey, if you have one of these Roland V drum kits, you might also have one of these Roland KD-10 kick drum units. And if you're novice like me, you may have also already used the felt side of the beater and it tore a hole in your cushion. So I've been on a waiting list for what seems like months now. And finally, I got my replacement cushion from Japan uh, and I did try and find a way that I might replace it just here in this position, but I don't think it's going to happen. So we're gonna take it apart, put it on the desk, and because I can't find any videos on how to replace this cushion, I'm gonna make one myself. So this will be a bit of a discovery for me too. Um, I've got the tools I expect I'll need here. We'll find out how right I am. But if you look right below the V-Drums logo, there's a little notch. Supposedly that's how we get this cover off and find the screws. So I think already I'm gonna have to go do some different tools here. I need something. Okay, I'm going even thinner here with an actual blade. I believe this cover is thinner than I'm giving it credit for. This just feels like I'm pulling up a sticker. This does not feel right. This is how it's meant to be replaced. This sucks. Yep, no, this is it. Wow. That sucks. That feels like breaking it. I'm guessing this wasn't thought through entirely. In fact, some of the posts I found online basically just said that Roland wouldn't send you a replacement pad. You just had to buy a whole new unit, which these things go for over 200 probably still, I think. So that was obviously a poor solution. And it looks like they are Phillips underneath that. So I'm gonna go nut with nuts with the Phillips here. They are not that tight or that deep. Seems like I'm only having to do like 10 rotations maybe. Unless I'm not unscrewing them and then I'll have to do more. There we go. Okay, we've got wires underneath, so don't go entirely nuts with that. Maybe I'm far enough along here I can avoid disconnecting wires because it looks like this is a rubber solution. All right, well, only one way to find out because it does look like that just removing this rubber piece, it's got a lip that pushes through to the other side. We just need to figure out that looks like a screw well right there, but we're here. So let's try this. Minimally invasive, as they say. So I can tell by the new pad that it's stuck on with some sort of glue on the back. So I'm going to gently, gent gently, that's what we're gonna do. Gently remove this pad. It is separating, which I'm kind of bummed because this pad, I wouldn't say is completely unusable a uh, problem with trying to hit it in the center is sometimes it'll catch on the rip, which affects the feel of the kick. So I do still want to replace it, but I was hoping to keep this intact just in case. Well, my life would still be easier if this rubber thing came all the way off, so. 
There we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Didn't take so much pressure either. Would come off more easily if I removed these screws. These screws appear to be the same as the other screws, but why take chances? Four corners. And the stand, oh, the wire, that's right. Dang it, that looks like the sensor too, man. I really don't want to mess how this functions at all. But the rubber thing, much more easily removed now. So yeah, where it is stuck to this plate is where the impact detection comes from. So again, I'm really not loving having to dissect it in this way. But I think I got it. Which means, if you're more careful than I was, and you do take it apart all of the way, you can save yourself from destroying completely the damaged pad, so. And that is the old pad. And now I'm Turning it over, and that does give you enough room to lay it flat so that you can at least polish that surface a little bit. You can even clean it if you think you got it dirty enough. Obviously, I don't think it's been dirtied up by anything in the two seconds it's been off. Put the pad on, match it up with the notches. Looks like it covers the whole area. All right, here goes the other thing that can ruin this entire process completely. I'm not really going to worry too much about letting that dry. It does sit pretty firmly into the whole mechanism. So I think we can just put it back together and let it seal itself up in time. So be careful not to get turned around. Uh, this open-ended, the notch here goes pointed down because that's this part of the plastic right here. So that will slide in right there. And then you can kind of work your way around like a bicycle tire or something. Be careful while you're exerting yourself on this part, obviously not to stretch out this wire that I've lengthened as much as possible. All right. Okay. And then do everything in reverse. So I can stretch this wire back out. If this is an impact detector, I'm guessing half the point here is to keep the wire off the detection module to avoid Double hits or false positives. It does slide into a notch there. Again, none, none of these screws have been very tight. They're all, they're all kind of just 
just until they stop really. Don't go too much harder than that, I'd say. It's probably important to reduce vibration with this thing. Next up, reconnecting. So if you look at it, there's a notch. And if you look at the plugs, you can tell they are more to one side than the other. Obviously, you'll want to match those up. And push back in. I'm using my finger now. There's no real click, but it does kind of stop and slide into place. So. Okay, there we go. I don't know if that had to snap, but basically there's just two kind of notches to the rubber on either side that you had to make sure were slotted in. One more round. Again, I'm not really forcing it, but just to make sure it's all even pressure. All right, and the cover back in. Still the worst part of this entire operation, but at least it replaces. All right, that is replaced. Looking good. Let's see how it works. Feels good on the foot. It's a little new, a little bouncy. As far as digital detection goes, I might have to worry about some double hits there, but appears to be registering. Good to go.